Hey guys, Daddy out here from Dadventure TV. So, uh, since everybody is stuck in the house with coronavirus, we thought that we would do a little experiment today to see the actual size difference in diameter between uh, some different sized tires with different, width, uh, with, with different widths on them. So, we have four different uh, tires here. We have a 24 inch by 2.8 inch wide off of Jonathan's uh, new mountain bike. We have a 27.5 by 2.3 inch off of my Bronson V2. We have a 27.5 by 2.6 inch off my Bronson V3. And we have a 29er uh, by 2.3 inch off of my Truck XCal 9, which is basically an XC bike. And uh, what I wanted to find out here was exactly what the difference in diameter is uh, between the tires, and particularly when you add uh, a plus size tire like Jonathan's, which is a 2.8 or a 2.6 uh, like on my Bronson V3. Uh, they are all the same tire except for Jonathan's. So Jonathan's is a big roller. Uh, as I said, it's a 2.8. The other three are all Minion, uh, Maxxis Minion DHFs. Uh, the only difference being uh, 27 and a half, 2.3, 29er 2.3, and a 27.5, 2.6. So we have inflated them uh, all up to riding uh, PSIs. So the Minion uh, DHF for the V3 is at uh, about 33 PSI. The um, 29er is right at around 40. Uh, 42, something like that, and then the uh, 27 and a half, uh, uh, 2.3 is at the same, it's about uh, 42 or so. So they're all at riding PSI, so uh, inflation shouldn't matter, and there's not any weight on them anyway. So uh, first, let's get a picture here of them together, and we can see a visual of the difference, and then we'll break out the trusty tape measure and uh, we'll take some measurements. All right, so let's, see, let's go see what, how they stack right, up. so here we are with my trusty helper, Jonathan. And you can sort of see the difference here. This one is off. Let's see if we can get the axle lined up. Let, John, let, let, let this one go a little bit. Hold on. There we go. So uh, there they are, pretty much with all of the axles lined up. And you can see the 2.6 is definitely bigger than the 2.3. And the 29er is definitely bigger than the 2.6. Uh, so we will, uh, let's see if I can get it this way too. Actually, that's a good angle too. There's a good shot where you can see the height difference. Penny's using it. Huh? Eh, it's okay. So, by the way, this is Penny. She's the new, newest family member who likes to eat grass. Penny. No. Penny. You're on camera eating grass. Ay, ay, ay. He doesn't know anything. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Anyway, so back to the tires. So there they are. You can see the height difference. Uh, this is the 27.5, 2 2.3, 27.5, 2.6, 29er. So let's do some measurements. All right. So we have taken the measurements with our handy dandy Stanley. And what we have come up with is Penny here, you know, lover. Jonathan's 24 inch, 2.8 wide, actual diameter 25.5 inches. Which, what did they say? What, what, what edge door, what did they say it was? It's supposed to be a 24. So a 24 uh, diameter mountain bike tire with a 2.8 on it with not the knobbiest uh, of tread because we are measuring from the outer most not, uh, knob on the tread. Uh, I'm not sure where the official measurements that a lot of people take but since that's what is rolling on the ground that's where I'm taking it. So an extra inch and a half uh, that you get in diameter because of the width of the tire and therefore the uh, height of the tire on the sidewall. Next one, the uh, t Maxxis Minion DHF uh, 27.5 by 2.3, 27.5 by 
again a knobby or tread than Jonathan's. Uh, so it's a, probably about a quarter inch, uh, extra quarter inch that it gets. But this is, as I said, a 27 and a half, uh, is what they call it, but it actually measured in at 20, 28 inches. So an extra inch um, gained. So next up is the uh, Minion DHF 27.5 by 2.6. This is the wider tire. And uh, this diameter came in at 28.5 inches. So a 27.5 and a 2.6 width really gets you an extra in, inch in diameter. So uh, actual diameter, as I said again, from outside of the tire, I'm measuring from here to here, was, straight across the middle, was uh, 28.5. And finally, the uh, Maxxis Minion DHF 29er by 2.3 and this one was pretty much dead on. It was actually uh, 29 inches. So uh, here to here is actually 29 inches. Tim. So uh, what we've learned actually is that the 27 and a half seem to be a little wider. We took two measurements uh, to make sure that they were accurate. Uh, both times came up with the same number. And um, it explains also why I don't notice much rollover difference between my 29er here and my 27 and a half by 2.6 because it's only a half an inch in, in actual diameter difference. Um, I do notice it a little bit in my uh, 2.3 and that kind of makes sense because that's an inch difference in diameter. Um, but on the trail, between these two, 27 and a half, 2.6, 29er, but really the difference is so de minimis that I don't really notice it. What I do notice though between the two is the extra traction of the 2.6. The uh, 2.6 definitely gives me much better traction uh, up in terms of uh, rear wheel spin out as well as cornering uh, significant, uh, significantly better in the corners. Um, I was hoping to do a weight test as well but I don't have a scale. So which one's heavier? Actually the 29er feels a little heavier still. So I don't know. Um, but there you have it for what it's worth. What this has taught me is that I've been saying for a while now that I would love the 27 and a half by 2.6. Um, it's my favorite wheel size, and uh, now I know why, because it still has a good rollover, uh, but yet is a little wider to give me better traction, and just ever so uh, much smaller to make it a little bit more maneuverable. So there you have it. Well, maybe next time if I can get a scale, we'll do a weighing test. So thanks everybody for watching, and uh, see you next time and out there on the trail. Just as a little extra. There's Penny. And there's the videographer. Hey. The videographer with his uh, new wheels. The specialized, what is it on? The Rip Rock? What's it say? It says it on the side there. Rip Rock. Yes, Rip Rock. It's the, uh, their 24 inch uh, step up. He was on a 20 inch, basically the same bike. I think it's called like a Rip Curl or something. Um, and was just too small for him. So we got this, it's really helped. The larger wheels definitely helped him uh, keep up with me, get over stuff better. So a good purchase if your kid is uh, starting to get bigger. Definitely recommend going to a 24, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, so see you guys out there on the trail, right Jonathan? Mm -hmm.